So if you haven't already noticed, the book of Judges reads like a soap opera. There's people making bad decisions just all over the place. I mean, you know it's bad when you read the words, all the people did whatever seemed right in their own eyes. Judges 17 is just a new episode with new characters, and its title would be, How Not to Worship Yahweh. It's all set in the land of Ephraim. Now, if you remember, God told them to drive out the Canaanites when they inhabited the land, but they didn't. Bad decision number one. So now we zoom in on a guy named Micah. Not the prophet, a different guy. This guy stole 1,100 silver coins from his own mother until he overhears her putting a curse on the thief, so he comes clean and gives it all back. So let's unpack all these bad decisions. First, the mom is putting curses on people, which means she's superstitious and is probably a sign that she is influenced by how the Canaanites worship their gods. And now we know that Micah is also superstitious and a thief. But things are looking up. The mom forgives the son and blesses him for telling the truth. And she wants to honor Yahweh with 200 of the coins. That sounds good, right? Forgiveness, tithes, and offerings. However, her idea of honoring God is to have an idol made and put in their home. Then Micah creates a whole shrine in the home and anoints his own son as a priest. I mean, at this point, it's like they're trying to break all the commandments of God. This family clearly is not watching our daily in the word devos. But finally, a new character enters. He's a Levite. You know, the tribe that lives among the people to teach the commandments of God. Surely he is going to move in and save the day, right? Surely this is where the story takes a turn for the good, right? Well, let's read on. Is that the end of the chapter? Wait, it just ends right in the middle of the story? I guess we'll have to wait till tomorrow. <laughs>